welcome to Joy Ministries Revival and Worship Center. Family, I just hope you were blessed this weekend. And we just pray and we ask the word that we're going to share tonight, that the Holy Spirit will make it real my word in your life, that it will become a river of life in your, in your life. Family, let's just quickly open and pray. Father God, we just thank you for the opportunity that we can gather here tonight to share your word. Lord God, we just pray and we ask the Holy Spirit to minister through my mouth. And I just make it known that I'm not relying on my own human ability, but that I'm uh, um, relying on the Holy Spirit to reveal the word, to, to fasten the word in the people's lives. We just pray that tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, family, um, a few messages back, we, we obviously touched the topic of how to change your life and another topic we changed on how to do it. Another topic, um, baptism after after you've given your life to God. Now tonight we just want to touch on a message. Once you've given your life to God, how to stand in faith. Now we're going to use the scriptures John 14 verse 12 to 18 from the New International Version. Um, if you would like to turn to the page and let's go through it. The first verse where Jesus actually says, very, very truly, I tell you, whoever believes in me will do the works I have been doing, and they will do even greater things than these, because I am going to the Father. A family, in that scripture we can see, if we are aligned and walking under God's plan for our lives, we are commanded to do great works. However, the activation point is we need to believe, have faith, walk a godly walk, and we will do even greater works than what Jesus did. Verse 13, And I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Yet Jesus says, He will do whatever we ask in His name. Once again, we need to believe. Have faith. And when it's for the glorification of God the Father, it will be done. We can also read Mark 11 verse 24, where it says, Whatever we believe for and we pray for, it will be given to us. Verse 14, you may ask me for anything in my name and I will do it. We can, we can ask for anything godly. Ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah Jireh, and it will be done. The word says that the power of life and death is on the tips of our tongues. So family, whatever we speak, whatever we ask for, and whatever we believe for, God will give it to us. Verse 15. If you love me and keep my commands. When we love God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. We will strive to live a godly life. We will do our utmost to do the best we can do. We will allow the Holy Spirit to have impartation in our life. We will allow the Holy Spirit to comfort us, to teach us, to direct us, to direct, direct our thoughts, to direct our lives. Verse 16, And I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you, and be with you forever. Now family here we can say Jesus Christ himself says. He will ask the Father to send the Holy Spirit. To be with us. To guide us. To comfort us. To lead us. To equip us. For the Holy Spirit. For miracles to take, uh, take place through our lives. But by the Holy Spirit. 
the spirit of truth the word cannot the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him nor knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be in you now family we can see that every day in our in our lives that the worldly system do not see the holy spirit they do not hear the holy spirit because they've given themselves over to sin but once you give your life to god and once you allow the holy spirit in your life you will know him well firstly you will meet him and then you will know him and how do you meet him how do you know him by firstly giving your life over to god secondly your prayer life thirdly your bible study life verse 18 i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you the world do not see or hear the holy spirit they are in the flesh and give themselves over to sin in the word of God we can see that people will fall into sin and believe that they are on the moral high ground. The devil lies to them. And it's our responsibility to correct them and give them the truth. Isaiah 5 verse 12. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. But put darkness for light and light for darkness. Who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. There the word tells us people will see good as evil and evil as good. But it's our responsibility as Christians to correct them in the word. The word says that if we allow the Holy Spirit, He will live in our hearts, will be part of us, and will guide us, teach us, and comfort us. God will not forsake us. The Holy Spirit will be with us forever if we allow Him. When we call on the name of Jesus, He will answer and come to us. Proverbs 8 verse 35 For you, he who finds me finds love and obtains favor from the Lord. Our family with our godly love, uh, walk every day I would like to implore you to allow the Holy Spirit to listen a lot of people say oh it's the sixth sense so if you are in a situation and you hear that whisper in your ear that's the Holy Spirit that's speaking to you allow yourself your flesh to submit to the Holy Spirit to listen to the Holy Spirit because once you start listening to the Holy Spirit you will never go wrong and he will never forsake you. He will always be with you. He will always comfort you. He will always teach you. He will always work through you. But God gave each and every person free choice and free will. If we allow the Holy Spirit to be in our lives, he will be there. If we call on the name of Jesus, he will be there. If we allow God the Father to have an impact in our lives, he will do it. Now, family, it's a short message. Um, I hope you were blessed by it. There's a few scriptures. Go back on it. Meditate on it. Um, start in your prayer life. Start listening to what God says to you. In your Bible study time, look and listen to what the Word tells you, family. I hope you were blessed by the message. And please, like we always say, copy it, share it, forward it to your friends. Um, if you want to get in, in contact with us, you'll see our email address at the bottom of the screen. Um, please um, send us an email. We would love to get connected with you. Any feedback, please feel, uh, feel free to, to, to share any feedbacks with us. Uh, family, if, you, if the Holy Spirit lead you to to um, sow into this ministry you will see our banking details after the message um, please let the holy spirit 
guide you and invest in a ministry. It's, we, we, we're using the finances to look after the community, um, old age homes, uh, to bless the poor. By the name of Jesus Christ, we just pray that. Um, family, let's just quickly close in prayer. Father God, we just thank you that we could share the word. We thank you that the Holy Spirit will go forth and minister to the people, minister to the hearts, Lord God, even though it was a short message, but that the word will have impact, that the word will change people's lives, that the word, that the people will see how the word tells us that we can stand on faith. And in, if we believe and it's in God's plan, we will receive it. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Father God, we just thank you, Holy Spirit. We just pray, um, be with each and every person. Bless each and every person by the blood and by the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Be blessed, family.